Welcome, folks, to another Togoth LP. I've always found it really funny that a lot of LPers try to, like, disguise what their LP is going to be. Oh, what's it going to be? It's made by Black Isle Studios. Yet, all you have to do is look above the video to know what it is. Obviously, if you can read, we are doing Planescape Torment. I think this is cutscene stuff, yes. Yeah, it's yeah, sorry. Planescape Torment, another one of those games that I never picked up, but uh, really should have. It's supposed to be an incredible, absolutely phenomenal RPG. I really look forward to it. Well, that certainly doesn't tell us too much. Let's begin a new life. Um. I was looking through call memories to give you a bonus to experience points. Name this one's case of faster regeneration. I really don't know what the best is, but I'm going to go with some pretty high strength, some decent decks, can't go below. I'm going to assume that it's running by D&D &D rules where 10 is a 0. Again, folks, I, I have no idea what I'm I think I'm going to try and make this guy more of a, a tank type guy. One more in there. Yeah. I guess that looks good. I have no idea, as I said. No, Togov, you shouldn't have built him like that. Yeah, shut up. No, but Togov... No. Well, Togoff, that was really stupid. Yeah, I know. Hello. Hey, Chief. You okay? You playing corpse or you putting the blinds on the dusties? <laughs> I thought you were a debtor for sure. Who are you? Oh, who am I? How about you, Stark? Who are you? Remember your name? <laughs> well, next time you spend a night in this park, go easy on the butt. Name's Morton. I'm trapped in here, too. Trapped. Yeah, since you haven't had time to get your legs yet, here's the chant. I've tried all the doors, and this room is locked tighter than the chastity belt. Locked in. Where? It's called the Mortuary. It's a big 
big black structure with all the architectural charm of a pregnant spider. Am I dead? Uh, not from where I'm standing. You've got scars of plenty, though. Looks like some burke painted you with a knife. All the more reason to give this place the laugh before whoever carved you up comes back to finish the job. Well, the carvings on your chest aren't too bad, but the ones on your back... Say, it looks like you got a whole tattoo gallery on your back, Chief. Spells out something. What do they say? <laughs> looks like you come with directions. Let's see, it starts with... I know you feel like you've been drinking a few kegs of Styx Wash, but you need to center yourself. Among your possessions is a journal that'll shed some light on the dark of the matter. Farod can fill you in on the rest of the chant. He's not in the dead book already. There. Yeah, there's a bit more. This is all on his back? Don't lose the journal, journal, or we'll be up the sticks again. And whatever you do, do not tell anyone who you are or what happens to you, or they'll put you on the quick pilgrimage to the crematorium. Do what I tell you. Read the journal, then find Pharaoh. No wonder my back hurts. There's a damn novel written there. As for that journal I'm supposed to have with me, was there one with me while I was lying here? No, you were stripped to the skins when you arrived here. Besides, looks like you got enough of a journal penned on your body. What about Fairbottle? Nobody I know, but then again, I don't know many people. Still, some Burks got to know where to find Fairrod. Uh, once we get out of here, that is. How do we get out? Well, all the doors are locked, so we'll need a key. Chances are one of the walking corpses in the room has it. Yet mortuary keepers use dead bodies as cheap labor. Corpses are dumb stones, but they're harmless and won't attack you unless you attack first. Kill them just for the key. What, you think it's going to hurt their feelings? They're dead! But if you want a bright side to this, if you kill them, at least they'll have a rest before their keepers raise them up to work again. Alright, I'll take one of them down. Well, before you do that, arm yourself first. I think there's a scalpel on one of the shelves around here. Search the salvage room for a weapon to attack the zombies with. When you find one, go to the inventory screen, the backpack button on the lower right, and arm yourself. If you wish to examine the items on the right, right click the item. Alright, I'll look for one. One last thing, those corpses are as slow as molasses, but getting punched by one of them is like being kissed by a battering ram. If they start getting an edge on you, remember you can run, and they can't. Use it to keep some distance if you need to recover. To run, either toggle run on the option screen or hold the, down the shift key and left click an area you want to run to. If you're in danger of dying, use running to keep your distance from the zombie while you recover. Alright. The, the name is interesting. Alright, let's see what we got here. So Done. Right clicking is our Highlight button? Perhaps not. Some bandages. I'm gone. Door's locked. We need a key. Oh, do I have to select them both? Yeah. I'm gone. Alright. Done. Done. I'm gone. Is this the scalpel? Yes. So we have a scalpel now. Tattoo. Right, right, right. And we have a head with biting. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, all right. You found the scalpel. Now go get those corpses. And don't worry. I'll stay back and provide valuable tactical advice. Maybe you can help me more. I will be helping you. Good advice is hard to come by. Mention help with attacking the corpse? Me? I'm a romantic, not a soldier. I just get in the way. Alright then. Pressing the A key, uh, although you can select attack pressure from the quick menu, pressing the A key to go Okay. Alright, so that's our lock. I'm gone. Let me see what this is. You shouldn't attack me. I'm gone. Alright, well. Kick his ass. Die. All right. We win. All right. Still no key for him either. Looks like we've I'm got one cut out for us. Time to die, zombies. Is there a pause? Yes, spacebar. If I can talk to them. Hello? This car down his forehead and his lips have been stitched close. The faint smell of formaldehyde emanates from the body. Like the one with the key. If it's holding, it's
tight lands and its thumb and forehead locked around in death grip. Looks like you'll need to hack the corpse hand out. Looks like you're not long for this world. Die! I'm gone. believe everybody's got to die sooner better than later you think the corpses you've seen are happier in the dead book than out of it uh, any female corpses why are, are you serious well, look chief these dead chits are the last chance for a couple of hardy bashers like us we need to be chivalrous no hacking them up for keys no lopping their limbs off with things like that what are you talking about chief they're dead we're dead see uh oh Oh! These limping ladies, we've all died at least once. Well, I have something to talk about. They'll appreciate men with our kind of death experience. I'm not dead? We well, alright. You might not be dead, but I am. And from where I'm standing, I wouldn't mind sharing a coffin with some of these fine sinewy cadavers I see here. Oh, God. Of course, the caretakers would have to part with them first, and that's not likely. These corpses come from. Death visits the plane every day, Chief. These shamblers are all that's left of the poor sods who sold their bodies to the caretakers after death. Alright, I'll try to remember that. Look, Chief, it's obvious you're still a little addled about your kiss with death, so I got two bits of advice for you. One, if you got questions, ask me, alright? Alright. Second, if you're half as forgetful as you seem to be, start writing stuff down. Whenever you come across something that might be important, jot it down so you don't forget. If I had a journal I was supposed to have, I might be able to do that. Start a new one then, Chief. No loss, there's plenty of parchment and ink around here. Hmm, alright. Use it to keep track of your movements. If you ever start to get cloudy on important things like who you are, more importantly who I am, use it to refresh your memory. Alright. Updated my journal. That's the All time, right. folks. As always, thank you very much for watching, and uh, please tune in the next episode of Planescape Torment. Thanks for watching, folks.